in the shadowed annals of history, where the echoes of suffering resonate, a haunting tale emerges of souls bound by the shackles of an unjust world. They were slaves, their identities blurred beneath the weight of oppression. From the sun-scorched plantations to the heart-wrenching Middle Passage, their stories etched deep scars upon the fabric of humanity. Their tears merged with the earth, birthing the resilience that defied chains. Yet, amidst the darkness, glimmers of resistance ignited sparks of hope, whispers of freedom that danced in their hearts. From within the depths of their endurance, they embodied a timeless testament of courage, resilience, and the unyielding quest for liberation. Hi, welcome back to History in Minutes. Today, we'll be recognizing a story sporadically talked about for being too controversial. The word slavery finds its roots in the institution it represents, which has a long and multifaceted history. Its etymology can be traced back to the Middle English word sclavery, which was derived from the old French term esclavery. The old French word, in turn, originated from the medieval Latin term sclavis, meaning Slav. This connection arises from the widespread enslavement of the Slavic peoples during the medieval period. Slavic individuals were captured, traded, and forced into servitude by various civilizations, including the Byzantine Empire and the Arab slave traders. The term sclavis was commonly used to refer to these enslaved individuals. Over time, the word evolved and expanded in its usage to encompass the broader concept of human bondage, irrespective of ethnicity. Thus, the word slavery came to denote the state of being held as a slave, subject to the ownership and control of another person, stripped of personal freedom, and forced to perform labor or service against one's will. The Slavs are an ethno-linguistic group comprised of various Eastern European, Central European, and Southeast European populations. They share a common Slavic language family with distinct regional dialects. The term Slavs encompasses a diverse array of subgroups, including but not limited to the West Slavs, such as the Poles, Czechs, and Slovaks, the East Slavs, including Russians, Ukrainians, and Belarusians, and the South Slavs, including the Serbs, the Croats, and Bulgarians. The migration and settlement of the Slavs can be traced back to ancient times. They originated in the vast forests and river valleys of Eastern Europe, gradually expanding their territories through migratory movements. In the early medieval period, Slavic tribes began to migrate in various directions, seeking new lands and opportunities. The West Slavs migrated westward and established themselves in the present-day Poland, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, and parts of Germany. The East Slavs moved towards the northeastern regions, eventually forming the foundation of modern-day Russia, Ukraine, and Belarus. The South Slavs migrated southward and settled in the Balkans, encompassing countries such as Serbia, Croatia, Slovenia, Bulgaria, and others. The Slavic migration and settlement were not without challenges. They encountered clashes with neighboring civilizations, such as the Byzantine Empire, the Vikings, and the Mongols. These interactions influenced the development of Slavic societies, their cultural practices, and even their social structures, and in some cases, lifelong peril and hardships to some. The Byzantine Empire, with its capital in Constantinople, played a significant role in the enslavement of Slavic peoples during its existence. Slavs were frequently captured as prisoners of war, a practice that was common in the Byzantine military campaigns. These enslaved Slavs were often taken from the conquered territories or raids conducted by Byzantine forces. In Byzantine society, Slavic slaves held various roles and positions. They were employed in agricultural labor, mining, construction, domestic service, and even soldiers. Slavic slaves were commonly found in the households of the wealthy and influential Byzantine elites, where they served as household servants, concubines, or personal attendants. Some Slavic slaves also worked as skilled craftsmen, contributing to the Byzantine Empire's economic and cultural development. The treatment of Slavic slaves in Byzantine society varied depending on their owners. While some slaves endured harsh conditions and faced physical abuse, others found themselves in relatively favorable positions, receiving education and gaining opportunities for advancement within the empire. Slavic slaves who demonstrated loyalty and skills could be granted freedom or rise to positions of authority in the Byzantine administration. 
Slavic slaves also played a role in the military forces of the Byzantine Empire. They were often incorporated into the Byzantine army as auxiliary troops, providing manpower and specialized skills. These Slavic soldiers, known as the Slavic Spearmen, served alongside the Byzantine forces, participating in campaigns and defending the empire's borders. Slavic slavery within the Byzantine Empire lasted for centuries, with the demand of Slavic slaves remaining high due to the empire's continuous expansion and conflicts. However, as the Byzantine Empire gradually declined, the institution of slavery also began to weaken. The emergence of the Ottoman Empire in the region eventually led to the abolition of Slavic slavery in the territories that fell under Ottoman rule. Another civilization that held Slavs captive are the Vikings. During the Viking Age, which spanned from the late 8th to the 11th century, Viking raids reached far beyond their Scandinavian homelands, extending into Eastern Europe and the Baltic region. These raids often resulted in the capture and enslavement of Slavic people. Viking slave raids in Eastern Europe were driven by the desire for valuable goods, including slaves, which could be sold or traded for profit. The Vikings targeted coastal and riverine areas, launching swift and brutal attacks on Slavic settlements. These raids were characterized by their speed, surprise, and ruthless nature. Viking longships would navigate inland waterways, allowing them to bypass defensive structures and swiftly strike vulnerable communities. Slavic people who fell victim to the Viking raids faced a grim fate of enslavement. Captured individuals were often taken as booty and transported back to Viking homelands or sold to other markets across Europe. Slavic slaves were sought after for their labor and domestic skills, and they became a valuable commodity within Viking society. Once enslaved, Slavic individuals were subjected to a life of servitude. They were forced to work as laborers, servants, or concubines, enduring harsh conditions and exploitation. Slavic slaves became a significant presence in Viking households, where they performed menial tasks and contributed to the functioning of Viking society. Lastly, the Arabs also had a fair share of Slavic enslavement. The Arab slave trade, spanning several centuries, had a significant impact on the enslavement of various ethnic groups, including Slavic peoples. Slavic slaves were sought after commodities in the Arab world due to their perceived strength, skills, and availability in Eastern Europe. Slavic slaves were transported to the Arab world through established trade routes and networks. These routes connected the major slave markets in North Africa, the Middle East, and the Arabian Peninsula. Slavic captives were often acquired through raids, wars, or purchased from intermediaries who operated in Eastern Europe. Once in the Arab world, Slavic slaves were subjected to a range of conditions and roles. They were employed in households as domestic servants, agricultural laborers, concubines, or even as soldiers. Slavic slaves who possessed specific skills, such as craftsmanship or administration, were often assigned to specialized tasks within Arab societies. Slave markets played a pivotal role in the trade and distribution of Slavic slaves. These markets, such as those in Cairo, Baghdad, or Damascus, served as hubs for buying and selling slaves. Slavic slaves, along with individuals from other regions, were displayed, inspected, and auctioned to prospective buyers. Internal slavery within Slavic societies has been a part of their history, with various forms of forced labor and servitude prevalent in different time periods. One prominent system was serfdom, which developed during the medieval era in Slavic societies. Serfs were peasants who were bound to the land they worked on and were subject to the authority of their feudal lords. They were not considered free individuals and were obligated to provide labor and tribute to the landowners in exchange for protection. The conditions of serfs varied, but they generally faced limited mobility, heavy labor demands, and economic exploitation by their lords. Serfdom was deeply entrenched social structure in medieval Slavic societies. In addition to serfdom, slavery existed in various Slavic states. For example, in Kyivan Rus, a medieval faction of East Slavic trades, slavery was an established practice. The roles and statuses of Slavic slaves within their societies varied. Some slaves had relatively low social standing, being considered property and lacking legal rights. They were subjected to the whims of their owners, facing physical punishment and exploitation. However, 
others managed to gain positions of influence and prestige within Slavic societies. Some slaves were able to gain their freedom through various means, such as military service or purchasing their own freedom. Upon gaining freedom, they could assimilate into a broader society and become a part of the emerging class of free peasants. While the involvement of Slavic peoples in the transatlantic slave trade was relatively limited compared to other groups, there were instances of Slavic participation as traders, owners, or crew members. Slavic slaves, though a minority, could be found among the enslaved populations in the New World colonies. Their experiences in the Americas varied, but they faced the brutal conditions and dehumanization that were characteristic of the transatlantic slave trade. The movement to abolish slavery gained momentum worldwide, including within Slavic societies, as immorality and injustice of the institution became increasingly apparent. Various individuals and groups emerged as proponents of abolition, advocating for the freedom and equal rights of enslaved individuals. Enlightenment ideas and the growing spirit of human rights played a significant role in shaping these movements. In the Russian Empire, where serfdom was deeply ingrained, efforts to address the issue of slavery gained traction. Intellectuals and reformers began questioning the legitimacy of serfdom and pushing for its abolition. Tsar Alexander II took decisive action in 1861 by issuing the Emancipation Manifesto, which freed millions of serfs. However, the emancipation process was complex, and the newly freed individuals faced challenges in adjusting to their new status. Despite the abolition of serfdom, other forms of labor exploitation persisted, underscoring the ongoing struggle for true freedom and equality in Slavic societies. The legacy of slavery continues to resonate within Slavic societies. The historical experiences of slavery and serfdom have left lasting impacts on social structures, cultural attitudes, and economic inequalities. The memory of slavery is often invoked in discussions of identity, social injustice, and historical consciousness, as societies grapple with the lasting effects of this dark chapter in their past. The abolition of slavery within Slavic and other societies represents a significant milestone in the long and arduous journey towards freedom and human rights. However, the legacies of slavery and serfdom persist, reminding us of the need for ongoing efforts to address the consequences and inequalities that arose from these historical injustices. It is through acknowledging and confronting this legacy that every society can work towards a more inclusive and equitable future for all. This ends today's video. If you learned something new, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content worth your every minute.